Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a Death Watch army that's been completed by Andy, one of the artists here at Siege. There's loads of really cool models and the force is made up of quite a few different contingents. So you've got close combat variants on the left hand side of Death Watch, you've got some shooty elements on the right hand side and you've got three characters in the middle and then you've got some Razorbacks at the back. Uh, so when we come back in a second, we're going to have a look in depth at this really cool commission um, and have a look at all the different, different intricacies that there are on the individual models. Uh, throughout the force so stick around it's a brilliant one we'll see you in a sec So to start off within this force, I thought we'd have a look at some of the characters and uh, we'll start off with the Chaplain. Uh, really, really cool model. I've always thought it was great when it came out with the Command Squad or the Reclusium Command Squad, as you can see here. And uh, Andy's gone in and done an absolute stellar job on this model. Loads and loads of detail is already on the on the kit before you even put a brush to it. Um, but he's then gone in and put loads of sort of the text on all of the uh, purity seals. Uh, you've got a really, really cool sort of free-handed skull and um, black Templar sort of uh, cross on his shoulder pad as well uh, very fitting that the chaplain is obviously a black templar also on the, the skull helmet as you can see there there's uh, there's some freehand as well that's been executed uh, and then moving around the back here as you can see you've got uh, more sort of purity seals and scrolls all with full writing on including the one that's billowing out to the left of his uh, underneath of his pad as well uh, obviously the crozius that he's wielding aloft uh, multiple highlighted throughout there and all the individual little facets there on the grip have all been multiple highlighted uh, and also to a point of light source which is really nice and they've got some really cool green lenses on him as well with a subtle glow as well which is really nice so that's just the uh, the chaplain of this uh, force which is brilliant uh, put him back we'll then pull forward the uh, the sort of dark angel librarian here as you can see the robes really really cool nice deep green with really nice bright highlights on all the highest areas as well got a bit of a blended blade there as well as you can see here on his false weapon uh, and then there's a subtle if you look on the shoulder pad there's a subtle sort of gradation of color change from a nice sort of uh, turquoise down to a purple at the bottom just a nice glazing transition there which is really nice just gives that metal a lot of interest which is cool you've got the vibrant uh, glowing hand there with a matching vibrant glowing eye as well uh, and then moving around here you've obviously got all the scrolls that are picked out and uh, all the sort of different areas on the, the um, cape as well that are in that really fitting dark angel green colour as well as you can see there which is great lovely model always been a big fan of this model when it came out with Dark Vengeance um, I always thought it was a great model really cool pose and uh, Andy's done a stellar job on him um, and then we'll pull forward the uh, Blood Angel uh, Sanguinary Priest or you know, Apothecary as you can see here with some nice sloshing blood in the cup which is uh, which is cool, uh, and then you've also got all the different areas of detail on him as well. All the blood drops, all the little um, intricate details on this model have all been picked out. As you can see here, the robes got really nice graduation of colour. You got a really nice um, sort of highlighting on all different aspects of the armour panels, and the black is very interesting with some subtle hues of sort of turquoise and blue in areas, and uh, some spotlights as well that have been painted on. Uh, moving around the back, as you can see here, there's a really really nice freehand as well on the back of the um, on the back of the sort of cape that he's got. Um, very fitting sort of. Uh, Inquisition Eye with a blood drop over the top of it. Then you've got all the vials and things in the back of the pack that have been picked out with sort of uh, reflective sheen and also little dots of, of, of sort of particles in the liquid as well, which is cool. Uh, and then you've got the little power cables up to the sort of um, backpack camera thing. They've obviously all been picked out there with some chevron in and one's, one's green as well. Uh, loads of highlighting work on these, as you can see, and uh, loads of intricate details for a very intricate model. Uh, so a great one um, there, as you can see. Put him back. And then we're going to start diving through the squads and start having a look at some of these squads in a bit more depth. Um, start off with the first guy here who is a Blood Angel uh, and very well fit in there with his loadout. As you can see, he's got a, a power maul with a nice sort of blue um, energy sign that kind of effect on the bottom of the maul. Um, and some spotlights or highlights as well on his chest just to show that Baroque armour off a little bit. You've got a nice cape there or loincloth as you can see. And all the individual little gems and lenses are all picked out as you can see here. And you've got some really nice transitions of colour on the pads as well, which are really, really nice. Uh, moving around the other side as well, the metal work has got high, multiple highlighting just to show the intricateness of that metal and just add a bit of interest to it. Uh, some really nice green lenses which work really, really nice with the colour of the armour and uh, just the overall look of the model as well. So that's just uh, all the Blood Angel from the Force. And then uh, we'll pull forward the Black Dragon which on our Instagram and on social media has uh, had a lot of interest. Uh, Black Dragon's a really cool chapter. Uh, if you don't know about them then they have a genetic defect whereby a percentage of their Marines grow bony crests from their elbows and wrists. Um, and uh, what we've gone in and done here is obviously converted this guy so he has got um, some, some really cool bony claws and crests that obviously grow out of his arms as you can see there same consistent attention to detail and then on the shoulder pad here as you can see you've got a black dragon free hand as well chapter symbol 
Um, moving around the other but the back, we've got the nice gradation and transition of colour on the rear of the armour as well, as you can see here, and the metal work as well. Same consistent sort of highlighting and, and sort of transitions there to really give that metal sort of sheen. And on the pad, as you can see there, the same um, the same sort of uh, transitional colour from a turquoise to a, a purple on the top crest of that Inquisition shoulder pad, just to give that metal work some real interest. All the lenses all fully picked out, as you can see there, with rear point of light source on the on the on the lens. And uh, overall, really cool menacing model. Um, you don't see a lot of black dragons, so it's nice to see one, which is really, really cool. Uh, I'll put him back, and then we'll have a look at the next one, which I, I really like, which is the Death Spectre. Um, he is armed with a really cool scythe that's got a lot of cool colorways and transitions and sort of energy going through it, which is really cool. Can be used as a Xenomorph blade uh, in game as well, which is really cool. So you can see that all the different colors that have been put into that blade. Uh, the really cool skull mask as well, which you can see there with the lenses all fully picked out and highlighted. Uh, and then again, a Death Spectre free hand on the shoulder pad as well just as show obviously is, is chapter heraldry moving around the back as you can see there same attention to detail same consistency really nice transitional color on the armor uh, and, and so it's just really really overall and great finish on these models um, so that's just the death spectre we'll pull forward the, uh, the space wolf uh, what Death Watch Force would not be complete without a Son of Fenris. Um, and as you can see here, again, the same spotlight highlights as well, and edge highlighted throughout. Really, really nice uh, use of the sort of wolf um, helmet as well, as you can see there, and weaponry. You've got a nice blended blade here with lightning effects on it as well. Uh, the same consistency on all the metal work, highlights, armor, everything as well, as you can see here. Um, really, really cool model and a very, very fitting pose whereby he's charging towards an enemy. Uh, so that's just the Space Wolf of the Force. Uh, and we'll pull forward the Stoic Ultramarine, um, who's got two blended power weapons as well with lightning effects, as you can see there. Um, all the gold really nicely picked out and all the different areas. And you can just see on the top of that um, Death Watch shoulder pad that nice glazing of different colours to make that metal work interesting, as you can see there. Moving around the back, as you can see, the same consistency, same attention to detail, even a nice transition on the uh, Ultramarine U there, as you can see, from light white to grey. Uh, and again, gold work, really, really nice highlighting all done on that as well, as you can see there. So that's just the uh, Ultramarine with Force. And we're going to move across to the more close combat side of the army, um, sorry, shooting side of the army, should I say. And you've got quite a few Marines here, all armed with combi melters. And again, you can see another Ultramarine here, exact same finish on all of these with really, really cool green lenses all picked out. Uh, really nice attention to detail and all different aspects of the armour and intricacies on the detail work, which is cool. Uh, combi melters, you can see there. Uh, so that's just one of them. And we'll pull forward the Crimson Fist just so you can have a look at him with all the lenses all picked out there as you can see all multiple highlighted on different area sort of armor panel weapons casings all those areas again that's just the crimson fist which is really cool um, and then we'll pull forward a couple more now forgive me I'm not too sure on which legion uh, which chapter this is so if anyone knows please put it in the comments I will do a bit of research after the video because um, I'd very much like to know um, as you can see there you've got a really nice transition on the purple just so it goes from a darker purple to a light purple as you can see there and um, you've got the lenses which is really really all picked out and nice and cool uh, Comi Melter again and we'll pull forward the other Comi Melter Marine so you can see an Iron Hand here uh, very fitting we've used uh, Iron Hand aspect model so that you've got the leg as well which is quite cool and again nice Comi Melter there all picked out and you've got all the different areas of detail work on him all the highlighting on the edges all fully picked out as well and uh, really nice character to this force as well with all the different, different Marines in the force representing their chapters very very well uh, and then we'll pull forward the last one which is a Minotaur and he's got um, a, a frag cannon so as you can see here You've got uh, all different aspects of detail on him. You've got the Minotaur pad there fully picked out. All the lenses, Inquisition eyes, all highlighted and picked out. Uh, the Frag Cannon, which is a devastatingly menacing weapon. And then you've got, if you look on the uh, on the wrist-mounted uh, little optic there, you've got a number that's been painted in there as well. It's tiny, absolutely tiny, but you've got detail work all picked in there. And then you've got all the lenses and everything picked out as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just the Frag Cannon or the Minotaur from the unit. So that's all the infantry from this really cool force, uh, and then we're going to just jump to the Razorbacks in the final part of this video, so stick around guys, see you in a sec. So to round up the video guys, we're going to finish off with the Razorbacks of this Death Watch Force. There's three of them as you can see, uh, and he's gone in and done some really cool detail work on them as well. Made them really worn and battle hardened, which is what you would expect from a Death Watch Force that sort of like strike quickly and uh, get, get away, obviously to fight another day. Um, so we're going to pull forward this one to say, but they're all very, very similar as you can see, it just gets to focus. So they've all got the Inquisition uh, sculpted doors on them, which is nice. And you've got some really nice weathering and, and sort of grit and dust effects that have been done on them as well, just to really sort of make them look battle hardened. All the lenses and everything all fully picked out, as you can see there. So they're all sort of highlighted, multiple highlighted, just to really show that sort of uh, refraction of light on the lenses. Even on the um, on the uh, LAS cannon on the turret, as you can see, the lenses are all fully picked out as well, as you can see with the, on the LAS plaz. 
uh, and then you've got some nice sort of a sort of color change here on the uh, smokestacks as well just to show the sort of real heat damage as well as you can see there moving around the back obviously you've got the rear inquisition door all fully packed, picked out with all the individual writing all highlighted as you can see there and uh, on top as well if we take the tire off all the individual lenses as well as you can see here on the top have all been highlighted and glossed just to really make them sheen with loads of colors put into them just to really make them stand out all the rivets have uh, pick, been picked out as well as you can see with a nice bit of weathering across the, uh, the tank as well and it's a really really cool colorway um, very bright in here obviously in the studio uh, in the office but what I was gonna say is that you've got a nice transition of color on these as well it's very subtle but it is there it goes from a dark black to some areas of brighter sort of like a tiny bit of gray hue on the, some of the armor panels and if you look here you can just see it which is really really cool so that's just one of the Razorbacks very 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 similar or, or exactly the same on all the others as well so just get that to, to focus and change the light hue on it a little bit there you go and you can see just on the sides there you can see the degradation of color as well which is quite nice and nice gradient that's been put on there um, really cool Razorbacks are great um, obviously they went up in points in the game but uh, Lazpaz has always been an effective loadout. It gives you options, obviously, to use a heavy weapon and uh, sort of more of a sort of a rapid fire weapon, which is really cool. Uh, and I use them quite a bit myself, actually. Um, so I hope you like them, guys. It's been an absolute great commission to work on, and uh, I do hope you like these Razorbacks and this Death Watch Force. Uh, we'll round up and uh, finish off the video, guys. See you in a sec. Thanks for checking the video out guys and uh, just thought I'd give you a final shot of them all together once again just so you can see them. Um, if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege Studios then please obviously head to our website, contact tab, fill out the contact form and fire that through to us. We can then obviously get the ball rolling with you on your commission. Um, I hope you like this one guys, it's been a great project and uh, this is all going to be packed up and sent off to the client now. Uh, please give us a quick follow on Instagram or on our Facebook page where we do post all of our work in progress photos and everything that's going on behind the scenes and about the business and also what we're doing um, if you have any questions at all then feel free to drop them in the comments but as always please like please comment and please subscribe because we really appreciate it and it helps us out a lot here and it's good to chat to you guys so i hope to see you guys on the next one and to chat to you soon take care bye bye